Hey guys, if you remember back in October, I had surgery on my left hand. And the surgery was for Dupuytren contractus, which is a buildup of some sort of stuff that's, that builds up in your joints, and trigger finger. Trigger finger is when you bend your finger and it locks in that one position. Anyhow, this is the hand that was done. And as you can see, I got a perfectly straight pinky right now. Dupuytren contractus, what it'll do is stop bending the finger over like that. Uh, a couple of years ago, this one was bent all the way over. Anyhow, the second operation I had was for trigger finger, which is this guy right here, the ring finger. And as you can see, he's working pretty good also. And I could also make a fist and all that kind of stuff. How did this all happen? Three times a week, 8 o'clock in the morning, for physical therapy. Anyhow, this is going to be my first attempt on a scratch build. Uh, in about two and a half years or so. This build is going to be for Gary Weiss, and it's, it's the fire department that's in Hayes, Kansas. So if you want to see how I do that, let's get started with this video. We'll be right back. Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is BNSF 6951. I'm Vinny and I will be your host. On this channel, I give you tips, tricks, and techniques on different aspects of model railroad and hobby. Uh, and I also do live streams on Friday nights. If you like the content you're going to watch on my videos, please hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell and the share and the like. Anyhow, with all that being said, let's get on with this video. We'll be right back. All right, guys, what you're looking at now is the Hayes Fire Department in Hayes, Kansas. On the left side there, you'll see the City Hall. We're not going to build that. Gary Weiss does not want that part of the building. We're going to move on to this part of the building here, and that is the two bays that are a part of the fire department where they park the fire engines and uh, rescue equipment and so on and so forth. Then we'll move on to this wall right here is the total length of the building. This building is approximately 135 feet long. It's got four little windows there, as you can see. And also, in the next picture, you will see the difference in color of the bricks. Now, I think that that second building was an add-on at later time. Anyhow, let's see how I start to get this building done. What you're looking at now is a topographical view of the Hayes Fire Department in Hayes, Kansas. This is the build that I am going to be doing for Mr. Gary Weiss. Now, I need to get measurements for this building. Um, we're not going to do this part. He does not want that part. So this is the fire department right here, and this is the city hall part of the building. We're just going to concentrate on this right here. So anyhow, <coughs> excuse me, in order for me to get measurements, what I need to do is, let me see if I can get this over here just a little bit. Go to Google Earth. And uh, let me get this over here. And you'll click on this little sidebar right here, and you'll go to search. Now, when you go to search, up here, up, uh, you put in the area you want to search to. So, once you get that, which is what I have right here, I'm going to go down here to this bottom piece right here, and it's going to say measure. Now, if you notice, let me turn this back over here. Up here in this corner... I have a little table. So what I need to do now is I need to measure how long this entire building is. So what we will do is we will take my mouse and put it right on the corner and I'll click on it. Once I click on it, you'll see zero feet came up. Now I will just draw my line. You can see it's drawing a line for me. And I'm going to go all the way down to the back side right there. And I am going to click on it right there. And it tells me that it's total 141 feet. So now we know the length. Um, so now, I don't know if, it, if it'll do it this way also at the, in the same picture. So what I have to do here is I'll go to uh, Start New. And now I'll measure this part right here, the, the width. So I'll click on it again. And I will go across here, like that. And once I get that, it says 43 feet. 
And so that's what we're going to do is 43 feet. Now, this is a fun part about this. If I hold it down and I, oops, nope. If I just hold it down, go to here, go to here, go to here. It tells me how many square feet the building is. It's 5,696 square feet. And the perimeter is 362 feet. So that's pretty amazing just to find out how, how to build a scratch build if you don't know the building per se. Anyhow, I'm going to get on with the rest of this and show you my process when I start to build a building. So stay tuned and we will be back shortly. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, uh, I started to put a mock-up together um, as far as this building goes that I'm doing for Mr. Gary Weiss. And as you can see, I have the measurements at 92 feet long and 25 feet tall. The reason for being 25, because I believe there's a second story in there uh, for sleeping headquarters and so on and so forth. And this will be the front. As you can see, it's 42 feet wide and 25 feet tall, and I have to custom make those doors because no one makes doors uh, with windows in them. So I have to do that, uh, and I'll show you guys how to do that as, as the project carries on. Anyhow, the next thing we're going to do is if you remember that in the picture I show you of, the, of this wall right here, there is a two-car garage or two-car storage area back here. And so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to put this guy together. Anyhow, um, he is 40 feet long, which will go here on this part of the building. You guys can't see that. We're here on this part of the building, like that. And when I do the final construction of this, this will all be one wall right here. Oh, you guys can't see that because it's back. If I turn it around this way, then you get a better idea. So it'll be something like that. So we're going to go ahead and build this guy. And uh, he is 40 feet from here to here, which gives me a total length of, uh, I think it was 90, 132 feet, which is very close to the uh, measurements I showed you previously in this video. So. Put this together. I'm going to be using these little, uh, I think they're one eighth inch balsa wood. Uh, and I found that makes my mock ups a little bit better for me to, to, to see how they actually look as, as the model progresses. So, that being said, I'm going to go ahead and start putting this together. Now, if you guys remember, I also tell you um, if you put, hit it on that wall, okay. If you put the one wall on the inside, you do it this way. If you put one wall on the inside here, then the back wall or the matching wall for this one has to be the same on the inside. We're going to do it the opposite way. We're going to do this wall on the outside with side walls on the inside. So that will give me the total width right here. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and do this. And what I'm going to use to put this together is a couple of toothpicks and uh, this Kite Bond wood glue. It used to work pretty well. Anyhow, we'll go ahead and start doing this. And like I said, we will put the supports on these two pieces here. Is that what I want to do? Let me wait. Let me think about this for a minute. Hold on, guys. I will be back shortly. This Vinny Vid production brought to you by Yankee Dabbler. For all your model railroad needs, check out Yankee Dabbler. Don't forget, 7% discount with BNSF 6951. And by Highways and Byways, awesome street graphics for your roads and streets on your model railroad layout. If you guys are looking for sophisticated model railroad electronics, Logic Rail technology has what you need. For a 5% discount on certain items, use code BNSF6951. All right, guys, I am back. So anyhow, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of glue on here. As you can see, I did that yesterday. Um, so now, I'm just going to do that today. We're going to put the supports on the back sides of these guys. So it winds up to be the same 
uh, same width all the way down the side of the building. Now I know I think I made a bit of a mistake here. I'm not going to fix it now. I'll fix it when I do the real thing. All right, so we got some glue there. And I'm going to take my toothpick and I will just take some of this glue. And we'll just put some in there. Just like that. Do it on both sides. I tell you, um, I've gone through quite a bit of therapy with my hands, and so far it seems to be working out pretty good. Uh, I don't know how long it's going to last, but we'll see how it goes. Anyhow, I got these little uh, pieces of balsa wood already cut out, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it on here, and get it right up to the edge, make sure it's right up to the edge, and I'll do that this way. Push it down. Now he should be pretty square at the edge. And I will do the next one exactly the same. Make sure that we're inside the lines. And then down here. It's always good to do a mock-up, guys. What I'm going to do when this mock-up is finished, I will place it on one of my tables in my living room or dining area. And every time I walk by, I'll look at it. And I will see if any changes need to be made. Uh, I think did I mess up. That's right. This should be the same size. They are. Okay. All right. So I made a boo boo. <laughs> All right. So do the same thing on this guy. And I have it marked at 50, but that's the wrong size. It's actually 41. I don't know why I came up with 41, but that's the size that I got. All right. So we'll do the same on this one. Smear some glue on there. Remember, you're not building a fort here. This is just a mock-up, so there doesn't have to be that much glue on there, just enough to hold everything together. All right, so that's done now. We will take my little sticks, put them in there. And then we'll put that down there. All right. And we'll do the same for this last piece. Now I'll let this dry up and then uh, I'll bring you guys back and we'll put this little, almost a square actually. And I don't think it would make a difference if I did make it a square. Anyhow, we're gonna let all of this dry up. I'm gonna put some weight on there so they stay straight. There you go. One there, one there, and one there. And one day. All right, we'll be back in a little bit. All right, guys, these are uh, pretty well dried up right now. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and start putting the rest of this together. So let's see how this is going to work out. Same thing, I got the glue right here. I'm going to use toothpick and we're going to start putting this together. So we we'll just take this now and we'll go on the uh, balsa wood. If you guys get into scratch building, it's always good to do a, a mock-up first, just to make sure that everything's going to fit the way you want it to fit. So we got the first one there, and uh, we'll go ahead and put him on here. Like I said, there might be some cutting errors uh, in this mock-up, which I see one right here. It's not. It's, this is not the same height as the other one, but we'll fix that uh, as we go on. So here we go, another piece right here. And this one, we'll just go ahead and put the glue on. Now this is just some stock that I've been using. Uh, you can use like poster board or whatever. But if you buy the big sheet, this is like 20 inches by 24 inches. Uh, it's a better deal. All right, so we got some on there. And now we'll go ahead and put him on this side here. Now what I'll do is I'll place this guy here and keep him up as straight as I can. All right. I'll square this all up when I when this last ball goes in here. It'll get it'll get pretty much squared up. 
but don't forget this is just a mock-up just to make sure that everything is going to fit because I know how much room Gary's got on his layout and I want to make sure this all fits. I just wish he actually would have done the uh, the uh, city hall part of this also. That would have been that would have been nice because I don't know this fire department is cool. I mean it's just a long skinny building, but I would have loved to have done the uh, the side part of that city hall part of that. You know, uh, we'll go ahead and lay this down like that. All right, and then this guy is the last piece, and he will go in here like that. And uh, we should see how it works. It should work out pretty good. Mm -hmm. I see my wood slipped a little bit. This glue is good. It tacks up really quick, but you can still move it if you have to. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to put a little bit more of this on here. There we go. And we'll use a new toothpick this time. And we'll just smear it on here. Yeah, I like using the word smear. New York guys don't know. When you order a bagel, you always order it with a schmear. And the schmear is cream cheese. A little tidbit for you non-New Yorkers. All right, so now we got that there. And we'll just put him right there. And put him like, right there, and right there. Holy mackerel, look at that. <laughs> and there you go. There's a mock up of the Hayes Fire Department. So now I will just bring it out to my living area, like my dining room or whatever, and I'll just put it on a shelf out there. And I will just uh, keep walking by it and see if I need to make any changes. The windows on here, I'm not quite sure of. All I have right now are these uh, TQ Group windows. They're not the exact right windows. So I'm going to look around and see if I can find windows. I think um, the Pike stuff has a windows that are closer. I also will be using the Pike stuff garage door for here and for here and then entrance door. I also noticed that uh, in the pictures that I have that the brickwork uh, between this building and this building is a different color. So it looks like this building here might have been an add-on at some point or another. All right, guys, before I go, I just want to show you one other thing here. Um, <clears throat> so this is the length of the fire department, and I'm assuming that they would have a ladder truck in there. And I'm putting these on the outside just so you see how much room is in there. I'm also assuming that we'll have a small fire truck that would be in there, and that would be in one bay. And then in the other bay, there would be probably be an EMP vehicle right there. Uh, it depends on how it is, and maybe some other rescue equipment back here. And then also, this side here, I think we're going to put the fire chief's car right there. So with all that being said, now we can finish this video. Talk to you guys later. Bye for now. Anyhow, I think we're going to call this good for right now. I uh, hope you guys and guys enjoyed this video. And as always, your questions, comments, input, subs, shares, and likes are always welcome. For now, that's all, folks. BNSF 6951 of Vinny Production, out for now.